Hi. Hi. My name is Ira Robeje. And I'm Kendall, and we're Indie Black Catholic Women. Today we're going to talk to you about one of the six black Americans on the road to sainthood. We're actually doing this with the Archdiocese of Indianapolis Black Catholic Ministry, and we're going to be talking about these saints for uh, Black History Month. Yep. Today we're going to talk about Servant of God, Mother Mary Lang. Not much is known about Elizabeth Lang's early life, but studies suggest that she was born in Santiago de Cuba somewhere around 1783. Elizabeth Clarice Lang's parents were refugees who fled to Cuba from the revolution taking place in St. Domingue. In the early 1800s, Elizabeth and her family left Cuba to seek peace in the United States. They settled in Baltimore, Maryland, where a great many French-speaking Catholics from St. Domingue were also settling. It did not take long for Elizabeth to recognize that the children in her community did not have access to education and no way to get ahead. Soon she began to educate them using her home and her own money. Around 1828, Archbishop Whitfield encouraged Father James Hector Joubert to talk to Elizabeth Lang about starting a school for colored girls. The school was known as St. Francis School, which still stands today. During these talks, she also spoke about starting a women's religious order. Father Joubert solicited financial assistance and encouraged other women to join. Elizabeth was the founder and first superior of the Oblate Sisters of Providence, and soon after, she was known as Sister Mary. While experiencing poverty, racism, and untold hardships, the Oblate Sisters sought to evangelize the black community through Catholic education. In addition to schools, the sisters later conducted night classes for women, vocational and career training, and established homes for widows and orphans. Elizabeth Lang died on February 3, 1882, and was buried. But on May 28, 2013, Mother Mary Lang was exhumed and transferred to the home of the Oblate Sisters, where she was laid to rest in their chapel. After her death, many Catholics in Baltimore began to venerate her as a saint. In 1991, Cardinal William Henry Keeler, Archbishop of Baltimore, officially approved and opened a formal investigation of Mother Mary's life to study it for possible canonization. In 2004, documents describing Lang's life were sent to the Vatican, which then opened the case for her sainthood. Thank you so much for tuning in and taking a minute with the saints. I'm Iroro. And I'm Kendall. If you want to learn more about the saints we talked about today, please check the links in the description box below. Join us next week. God bless. God bless.